Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Wednesday the 16th of March 2022. The world marches on uh, in its inimitable way. Uh, those of us who love peace are disappointed. Those of us who love war, well, you've got what you wanted. Um, most people, thankfully, uh, promote peace in this world. Okay, uh, let's get on with today's medium level Sudoku puzzle, shall we? And uh, see what's happening. Um, I haven't looked at this, of course. I see something very interesting, very easy to spot. You know, I don't really um, methodically start with one, two, and then count through the numbers like that usually when I'm beginning a game. I just see if anything hits me. And the very obvious thing that's hit me is this three, five, and three, five, like this. It's just really just very striking. It's unusual to see this kind of combination. And so we can definitely take it that because 3, 5 are here and 3, 5 are here in this row and in this row, 3, 5 must be in these two squares in this block. And if you don't know why, that means you haven't played Sudoku before. Well, okay, a quick, very quick brief explanation is that each row, each column, and each block must contain digits 1 to 9 and there are only nine squares, so the numbers appear only once. So now that we know three and five block this row, three and five block this row, three and five must be up here. So uh, that's the first thing that hits me. I don't know how important it's going to be, but it certainly is going to be a three and a five there. Okay. Right, let's see what else we can find, because that's not going to give me a single number, but <laughs> it's just something that, that just jumped up at me um, all right down here then there's a lot of uh, numbers congregating and we have intersecting threes blocking this square or actually just across this row is more importantly this three blocking across this row and this three blocking across this row here so a three has to appear in that square and then the three that we just wrote in blocks up this column this three blocks up here so we can place our three there I can hear my neighbors chatting in their garden, and you might be able to too, so if you're wondering what's going on, now you know. Morning talk. Okay, the missing numbers from this column are two, six, and seven. That's what we need to complete this column in a series of one to nine. 2, 6, 7. But look, the 6 and the 7 are both in this block already. So this can't be 6 and can't be 7 because a number can appear once in its block. So if it's not 6 or 7, we know it's got to be a 2. So that's what goes in there. The missing numbers that we have to fill for this block are 1 and 4. And I think you can see quite quickly we have a, <coughs> excuse me, a very nearby 4 blocking that square there. So the 4 goes here and the 1 has to be in that square there. Okay, this one blocks all the way down this column here, and this one blocks across here. So a one has to be fitted into that location there. The missing numbers along this row now are seven and nine, and we'll see this seven from up on high, blocking all the way down this column, putting a seven into this space and a nine into that square there. Four blocks across these two squares. So 4 fits here. And the remaining numbers to get there are 5 and 9. We can't tell which is which just yet, so we've got to come back and deal with that later. Um, we could work out what's missing across here. Um, so the numbers that we need to complete this row are 1, 5, and 8. We have an intersecting 1, but we don't know about the 5 or the 8. And... Uh, 1, 5, and 8 are here. So the missing numbers to go up here are 2, 6, and 7, I think. Okay, so we've got 6 and 7, but not enough to 
narrow it down to one location only. Let's come back over here then, two blocks across here, two blocks up here, so we can place our two just there. One blocks uh, across, okay, let's do it like this. One blocks these three squares here, right in this block here. And this one blocks this square, and this one blocks this square. So if we consider this row, there's only one cell, this cell here, this square here, which is unaffected by intersecting ones here or here, or this one, which obviates the whole block. Okay, so let's put our one there. Uh, here's an easy number that I should, could have got from the beginning, one across here and one across here. So there's only one empty square there for a one. You see that these digits were not placed there by me, so that means I could have got there from the beginning. Um, but there's no particular order in which we play this game, you know, one blocking down. I, as I said, I just look and see what jumps up at me. One blocking down here and then here and across here. So we can fit our one into that square there. Now we have four blocking across this row, four blocking across here, and four up there. So we can place our four here, and we'll continue with the fours. Four block. Oh, there's the sound of an old-fashioned telephone. Can you hear that? <laughs> I don't think anybody has landlines anymore. Um, I gave up my landline years ago. Four blocking up here, four blocking up here, four across, and four across here. So four fits there. My neighbors have an old-fashioned telephone. Um, okay, the missing numbers in these two squares to complete this column are 7 and 9. We have an intersecting 7 nearby, so we can place our 7 there and our 9 will finish off that column. Okay, one blocking down here, one blocking up here, so we can place that one there. I think that's the final digit one, isn't it? We have ones in every block now, so okay, we don't need to worry too much about ones. Now we know what these two numbers are, don't we? So we can get this one because these two have to complete this column here. So the missing numbers for here, if you remember, were six and seven, I, I mentioned they blocked that square. So 6 and 7 are here, so we're missing just one other number to complete this block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, four, five 6, 7, 8 goes there. Seven blocks across here and seven blocks across here, so we can place a 7 into that square there. Missing numbers here and here are 5 and 8, but we can't get them just yet. Uh, the missing numbers along here in this column, I think we can't get either, but they are 2, 6, and 9. Ah, but we can do something. Okay, 2, 6, and 9 are missing from this column here. Now, if you look across here, we can see 6 and 9 are both in the same row. So if this can't be 6 and can't be 9, we know that it has to be 2 because... That's the logical conclusion. Now, two blocks up here and two blocks across here. So we can fit a two into that square there now. Three, five, and six have to fit into these three empty squares to complete this block. We still need three, five, and six. Now, I think you can see that the three stops this square and the 6 stops this square, so we know that 3 and 6 are up here. Now, can we place 3 or 6? No, but it doesn't matter because we at least know that this has to be a 5. 
because that's the remaining number. Now, 5 blocking down here stops this from being 5, so 5 will fit here, and 9 is our last number for this block. Now, 9 blocks up here and 9 across here, so we can place our 9 there. seven blocks up here so seven goes in this square here uh, what's missing six and eight so eight blocks here so the eight goes here and the six is the last number we need there six then blocks across here and appears here and seven is the last number that we need uh, there We still looking. We still have this three and five. I said to you at the beginning, the three five three five. We have now put in all the other numbers except for the three five. We still don't know which is which, but we still know that three and five go in those two squares there. Uh, quite weird. Okay. Um, now there's only one number missing from this row here, so we better look for that next, haven't we? The missing number is in fact an eight. And now there's only one number missing from this column, and that's a 5. So we place that. Now we have 6 and 9 missing from here. Can't do anything about those just yet. The missing numbers here are what? 3 and 6. Can't do anything about those yet. So we have to leave this part of the grid and come over here. Let's look and see what's more um, possible in this section over here. Well we've got the 3 and the 5 here. Let's see what other numbers are missing here. Uh, we don't have a 2 and we don't have an 8. So 2 and 8 are in these two squares. Anything intersecting? No, nope. can't tell which is which. So down onto this row here we still lack a f uh, 6, 7 and 9. We've got 1, 6, 1, 7 can't, and ah, here we go. Sip seven and nine now. Sorry, seven and nine are in the same column. So this square here can't be seven, can't be nine, has to be six. And now we need a six for this row here. Six blocks across here, six blocks here, blocks here. So we can say that the six now goes in that square. You see how it all works out very nicely and neatly. It's a lovely game, Sudoku. Whatever level you're playing at, really, it's uh, just just enjoyable to see the numbers fall into place. I think. Um, okay, the missing numbers here now are two and seven. That's what we don't have for this row. We have an intersecting seven, so we can place our seven there, and then we can finish off that row with a two. Um, okay, the last numbers here are 5 and 8, which we can't get just yet, so we won't worry about it. We'll focus instead on this column, shall we? Let's see what we need. We still need 3, 5, and 8. 3, 5, and 8 for this column. Now, we have an intersecting 5 here, and we have an intersecting 5 here, so only one space where the 5s can go. We have the intersecting 3 here. Now, if you remember, I said 5, 3, and 8. We have 3 blocking this square, so the 3 goes here, and the 8 will finish off that column. Now, there's just one more number to finish this row. It is, in fact, 2, so let's put that in. And when we do that, we'll say 2 blocking up here, 2 across here, so 2 fits there. We know what's this number? You remember? 3, because of our 3, 5, 3, 5 that we started with. So finally we get a chance to place that 3. Um, missing numbers here are 7 and 9. We've got the 7 blocking here. So in goes the 7, in goes the 9. Um, where to go next? Uh, I've forgotten. What was missing down here? 5 and 8. Do we have anything yet? No, not yet. Okay, but if this is a pair of... Okay, here's something, a, a Sudoku pattern to watch out for. It, it crops up in a lot. If this is 5 and 8 in these two squares, this column, which can also contains two empty squares only, this, this row has two empty squares, and this column has two empty squares, must be 5 and 8. If this is 5 and 8, you know automatically, without having to search through, that this has to be 5 or 8. Now, when you see an intersecting 8, we know immediately 
this has to be 5, this has to be 8, and this has to be 5. So that doesn't take too much thinking about. So that's a nice way of finding numbers very quickly. Uh, okay, now our 8 blocks this square here. So 8 goes here, and 9 will finish that um, column and block. And now 9 blocks across here, so 9 goes up here. The last number we need here is a 6, I believe, which stops that from being a 6. So 6 goes there, and a 3 will be the last number that we need. Now, because I'm playing on pen and paper, I need to check through rather quickly and make sure I haven't made any terrible blunders, uh, which can easily happen when you're playing Sudoku with pen and paper because you can't see any errors that the computer will often alert you to. Okay, right, that's it for today for our a medium level. I think it's really an easy level, but <laughs> uh, the Guardian calls it a medium level. Uh, it moves up slightly tomorrow for its hard level, but that's not going to be too difficult, is it? So hope to see you. Uh, and if you like to play the more adventurous games, come back uh, later for the more difficult in New York Times and uh, LA Times. Thank you. Bye-bye.